videotape inspection of the Citizen Syncom M16. Front of the machine, take a walk around the side first with the IAMCA bar loader that goes with it. The IAMCA Boss 325 CNC with a full size channel. This is the telescoping nose. All the tooling is boxed. High pressure coolant lines. Here's the information on the serial number plate. It's the high pressure coolant tank with it. It's a cool blaster with eight lines. This machine has a tower, light tower, parts conveyor, the Mitsubishi control. The screen is in excellent shape. The keyboard is in excellent condition. Okay, we're going to run the machine. We're going to run the uh, spindles at 7,000 RPM. And you can hear I'm about four inches away from the spindles. This is the main guide bushing. Synchronous with the main spindle. This is the sub spindle. 7,000 RPM, I'm about one and a half inches away. The rotary tools are at 5,000, and I'm about an inch away from those. I'm gonna go over to the main spindle here, open the door, and I'm about one inches or two inches away from the main spindle. Very quiet. Back of the rotary guide bushing. Okay. We're gonna move the turret. This machine does not have a program in it, so we'll do the best we can at running the turret MDI. the X and Y axis on the gain tool. You can see three live tools with the manifold for the back working tree and the gain tool plate. I'm about two inches from the gain tool. You can hear that the, the ball screws are in excellent condition. Very quiet. This is the x-axis of the turret. Again, I'm about five, six inches above the turret. This is the Z-axis. And this is a full eight-axis machine. That would be Z1, Z2, Z3. 
X1, X2, Y1, and X2, X3 on the subspindle. Along with C axis on the main and the sub. Again, I'm very close to the subspindle. Okay, we'll put the machine in brake mode and we'll stop it. Gonna go back to the main spindle. You can hear the spindle stop. This is the Z axis, the main spindle. this machine appears to be in excellent condition. Can you move this here? As you can see, that was indexing the main spindle and the synchronous rotary guide bushing. At, what is that, 90? One eighty. And then the subspindle also has a full C axis. Show you a little bit of the controller. You can see the screen is on and very clear. You get to change the screen around. Give an idea. This is the inside of the bar feed. It has a 16 millimeter channel. Control panel. This concludes the inspection of the Citizen M16.